Jiu Bang. Welcome to Jiu Bang. Hi students. In the previous video, we have discussed the introduction part and example problems from one to four. In this video, we are going to cover the exercise number two point one. Now let us see exercise number two point one. Solve the following equations. First question: x minus two is equal to seven. First, let us write the given equation. That is, x minus two is equal to seven. Here. We need to find the value of x. So, x is equal to seven. Here, if we transpose minus two to the right hand side, it will become plus two. So, seven plus two. X is equal to seven plus two is nine. So, we got the answer x equal to nine. Now, let us check. Whether x is equal to nine or not? Verification. The given equation is x minus two equal to seven. So x minus two is equal to seven. Here the value of x is nine. So nine minus two is equal to seven. Nine minus two is seven. Equal to seven. Here we see that LHS is equal to RHS. So we got the answer correct. That is x is equal to nine. Now let us see the second question. Y plus three is equal to ten. Let us find the value of y. First, let us write the given equation. That is, y plus three is equal to ten. So y is equal to ten minus three. Here we are transposing plus three to the RHS, so it became minus three. So y is equal to ten minus three is equal to seven. So we got the value y equal to seven. Now let us verify whether y is equal to seven or not. Verification. The given equation is y plus three equal to ten. So y plus three is equal to ten. The value of y is seven. So seven plus three is equal to ten. Seven plus three is ten, equal to ten. Here we observe that LHS is equal to RHS. So we got the answer correct. That is y is equal to seven. Now let us see the third question. Six is equal to z plus two. The given equation is six equal to z plus two. This equation can also be written as z plus two is equal to six. So here we need to find the value of z. So z is equal to six minus two. Here plus two will go to the right hand side. So it became Minus two, so z is equal to four. Six minus two is four. So the value of z is four. Now let us verify. Verification. The given equation is six equal to 
to say plus 2. So 6 is equal to the value of z is 4. So 4 plus 2. 6 equal to 4 plus 2 is 6. So here LHS is equal to RHS. So we got the answer correct. That is z is equal to 4. Now let us see the fourth question. 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7. The given equation is 3 by 7 plus x is equal to 17 by 7. Here we need to find the value of x. So x is equal to 17 by 7 minus 3 by 7. Here we transposed 3 by 7 to the RHS. So it became minus 3 by 7. So x is equal to, here the LCM is same, that is 7. So 17 minus 3. x is equal to 17 minus 3 is equal to 14 by 7. Here we observe that 7 and 14 are the multiples of the number 7. So 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. Therefore x is equal to 2. Now let us verify whether the answer is correct or not. Verification. The given equation is 3 by 7 plus x equal to 17 by 7. So 3 by 7 plus here x is equal to 2. So in the place of x we will write 2. That equal to 17 by 7. Here nothing is there. So it means by 1. So the LCM of 7 and 1 is 7. So if we multiply the number 1 to the number 7, we will get 7. So let us multiply the number 1 to the numerator. That is 3 into 1 is 3. And if we multiply the number 7 to the number 1, we will get the number 7. So, let us multiply the number 7 to the numerator. So, 7 into 2 is 14. That equal to 17 by 7. Here, 14 plus 3 is equal to 17 by 7. That equal to 17 by 7. Here, LHS is equal to RHS. That is 17 by 7 is equal to 17 by 7. So we got the correct answer. That is X is equal to 2. Now let us see the fifth question. 6X is equal to 12. Let us write the given equation that is 6x is equal to 12. Now here we need to find the value of x. So x is equal to 12. So here if we transpose 6 to the right hand side it will become reciprocal. So reciprocal of 6 is 1 by 6 that is 12 into 1 by 6. x equal to 12 into 1 is 12 by 6. Here 6 and 12 are the multiples of the number 6. So 6 ones are 6. 6 twos are 12. So we got the value of x which is equal to 2. 
Now let us verify whether x is equal to 2 or not. Verification The given equation is 6x is equal to 12. Here we got the value x is equal to 2. So 6 into 2 is equal to 12. Here 6 into 2 is 12 equal to 12. So LHS is equal to RHS. So we got the answer correct. That is x is equal to 2. Now let us see the sixth question. t by 5 is equal to 10. Let us find the solution. First let us write the given equation. That is t by 5 is equal to 10. Here t by 5 can also be written as t into 1 by 5 that equal to 10. Now here we need to find the value of t. So t equal to 10. Here if we transpose 1 by 5 to the right hand side it will become reciprocal. So reciprocal of 1 by 5 is 5. So 10 into 5. T equal to 10 into 5 is equal to 50. So we got the value T is equal to 50. Now let us verify the answer. Verification The given equation is t by 5 equal to 10. Here we got the value of t equal to 50. So in the place of t, we will write 50 by 5 equal to 10. Here 5 and 50 are the multiples of the number 5. So 5 1s are 5, 5 10s are 50. So 10 equal to 10. Here we see that LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore we got the correct answer that is T is equal to 50. Now let us see the seventh question. 2x by 3 is equal to 18. Let us find the solution. First, let us write the given equation. That is, 2x by 3 is equal to 18. Here, this equation can also be written as 2x into 1 by 3 is equal to 18. So here, 2x equal to 18. Here, if we transpose 1 by 3 to the right hand side, it will become reciprocal. So, the reciprocal of 1 by 3 is 3. So, 18 into 3. 2x equal to 18 into 3 is 54. Now, x equal to 54 by 2. So, if we transpose 2 to the right hand side, it will become by 2. So, here 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 1 left, 2 7s are 14. So, we got the value x equal to 27. Now, let us verify whether x equal to 27 or not. That is verification. The given equation is 
टू एक्स बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू एटीन सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वे विल सब्सटीट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो वी गॉट एक्स इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सेवन सो टू इंटू ट्वेंटी सेवन बाय थ्री इक्वल टू एटीन हियर वी सी दैट थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन आर द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ द नंबर थ्री सो लेट अस कैंसिल इट थ्री वन सर थ्री थ्री नाइन सर ट्वेंटी सेवन हियर टू इंटू नाइन इज इक्वल टू एटीन टू इंटू नाइन इज एटीन इक्वल टू एटीन सो हियर एलहेचएस is equal to rhs therefore we got the correct answer that is x is equal to 27 now let us see the eighth question 1.6 is equal to y by 1.5 let us find the solution first of all let us write the given equation that is 1.6 is equal to y by 1.5 this equation can also be written as y by 1.5 equal to 1.6 so here y by 1.5 can also be written as y into 1 by 1.5 that equal to 1.6 here we need to find the value of y so y is equal to 1.6 here if we take 1.5 to the rhs it will become reciprocal so the reciprocal of 1 by 1.5 is 1.5 That is y equal to one point six into one point five. So y is equal to one point six into one point five is two point four. So we got the value y is equal to two point four. Now let us check whether the value is correct or not. verification first let us write the given equation that is 1.6 is equal to y by 1.5 now we will substitute the value of y in the place of y so 1.6 is equal to 2.4 by 1.5 now 1.6 is equal to here 2.4 can also be written as 24 by 10 and 1.5 can also be written as 15 by 10 that implies 1.6 is equal to 24 by 10 If fifteen by ten comes to the numerator, it will become reciprocal. That is ten by fifteen. Here ten ten gets cancelled. That is one point six is equal to twenty four by fifteen. One point six is equal to twenty four by fifteen is equal to 1.6 so here lhs is equal to rhs therefore we got the correct answer that is y equal to 2.4 now let us see the ninth question 7x minus 9 is equal to 16 first of all let us write the given equation that is 7x minus 9 is equal to 
then 7x is equal to 16. Here, if we transpose minus 9 to the RHS, that is right hand side, it will become plus 9. So, 7x is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25. Then, here we need to find the value of x. So, x is equal to 25. Here, if we transpose the number 7 to the right hand side, it will become by 7. So, here we got the value x equal to 25 by 7. Now, let us verify the answer whether it is correct or not. Verification. The given equation is 7x minus 9 is equal to 16. Then 7x. Here in the place of x, we will substitute the value of x in the place of x. So 25 by 7 minus 9 is equal to 16. Here 7, 7 gets cancelled. And remaining is 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. 25 minus 9 is 16 equal to 16. Here LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we got the correct answer. That is x equal to 25 by 7. Now, let us see the 10th question. 14y minus 8 is equal to 13. First, let us write the given equation. Fourteen y minus eight is equal to thirteen. Then fourteen y is equal to thirteen plus eight. Here we are transposing minus eight to the right hand side, so it became plus eight. Fourteen y is equal to thirteen plus eight is equal to twenty one. Here we need to find the value of y. So, y equal to 21. Here, if we transpose 14 to the right hand side, it will become by 14. So, here 14 and 21 are the multiples of the number 7. So, 7 twos are 14, 7 threes are 21. Therefore, y equal to 3 by 2. Now, let us verify y equal to 3 by 2 or not. Verification. The given equation is 14y minus 8 is equal to 13. So, 14 into, here y is equal to 3 by 2. So, 3 by 2 minus 8 is equal to 13. Here, 2 1s are 2, 2 7s are 14. So, 7 into 3 minus 8 is equal to 13. Here, 7 into 3 is equal to 21 minus 8 equal to 13. 21 minus 8 is 13. Equal to 13. Here we observe that LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we got the correct answer. That is y equal to 3 by 2. Now, let us see 11th question. 17 plus 6p is equal to 9. 
First of all, let us write the given equation. That is, 17 plus 6p is equal to 9. Here, 6p is equal to 9. Here, plus 17 moves to right hand side. So, it becomes minus 17. 6p is equal to 9 minus 17 is minus 8. Now here, p is equal to minus 8. Here, if we transpose 6 to the right hand side, it will become by 6. And here, 6 and 8 are the multiples of the number 2. So, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8. Therefore, p is equal to minus 4 by 3. Now, let us verify whether this answer is correct or not. Verification. Let us write the given equation. That is, 17 plus 6p is equal to 9. Now, we will substitute the value minus 4 by 3 in the place of p. That is, 17 plus 6 into minus 4 by 3 is equal to 9. Here, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. 17 plus 2 into minus 4 is equal to 9. So, 17 plus 2 into minus 4 is minus 8, which is equal to 9. Here, 17 plus into minus is minus. So, 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. And 17 minus 8 is equal to 9. Equal to 9. Here we observe that 9 is equal to 9. That means LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we got the correct answer. That is P equal to minus 4 by 3. Now, let us see the 12th question. x by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. Let us find the solution. The given equation is x by 3 plus 1 equal to 7 by 15. That implies x by 3 is equal to 7 by 15. Here, if we transpose plus 1 to the right hand side, it will become minus 1. Below the 1, we have nothing. So, it will be 1. Next, x by 3 is equal to, here the LCM of 15 and 1 will be 15. So, by 15, if we multiply the number 1 to the 15, we will get the answer 15. So, let us multiply the number 1 to the numerator. That is 7 into 1 equal to 7. Minus, if we multiply the number 15 to the 1, we will get the answer 15. So, let us multiply 15 to the numerator. 1 into 15 is 15. That implies x by 3 is equal to 7 minus 15 is minus 8 by 15. Now let us do cross multiplication. That is x into 15 is equal to minus 8 into 3. Therefore x is equal to minus 8 into 3. Here, if we transpose 15 to the right hand side, it will become by 15. Here we can observe that 
3 and 15 are the multiples of the number 3. So, 3 ones are 3, 3 fives are 15. So, we got x equal to minus 8 by 5. Therefore, the value of x is equal to minus 8 by 5. Now, let us verify. Verification. Let us write the given equation first. x by 3 plus 1 equal to 7 by 15. Here, we can write this equation as x into 1 by 3 plus 1 equal to 7 by 15. We know the value of x that is minus 8 by 5. So here we will substitute that is minus 8 by 5 into 1 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. Here minus 8 into 1 is minus 8 by 5 into 3 is 15. Next, plus 1 is equal to 7 by 15. Here nothing is there below the 0. So it will be 1. The LCM for 1 and 15 is 15. So, by 15. If we multiply the number 1 to the 15, we will get the answer 15. So, let us multiply the number 1 to the numerator. That is, minus 8 into 1 is minus 8 plus. Now here, if we multiply the number 15 to the 1, we will get the answer 15. So, let us multiply the number 15 to the numerator, that is 1 into 15 is 15, equal to 7 by 15. That implies minus 8 plus 15 is equal to 7. So, 7 by 15, equal to 7 by 15. Here we observe that LHS is equal to RHS. That is, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, we got the correct answer. That is, X is equal to minus 8 by 5. The remaining topics will be covered in the next video. You are welcome to contact us on Telegram to clarify your doubts regarding these topics. Check out the link given in the description. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.